I have something different I want to share with you today, and that is a pair of sunglasses. If you're interested, keep watching. So these are the Hawk HD polarized sunglasses from Outdoor Masters. And I'd like to start by thanking Outdoor Masters for sending me these so that I could share them with you. So the quick backstory is Outdoor Masters reached out to me a little while ago, asked me to take a look over the product lineup on their website, see if there was anything that I would be interested in reviewing and they would send it to me. So I did so, I looked over everything they have. Now, the thing about Outdoor Masters is their focus on outdoor sports and recreation is mostly around active sports. And what I mean by that is they have a great lineup of products for stand-up paddle boards. They have uh, a line of products for bicycles. They do have some sun shelters and tents, but they weren't anything that I was interested in. And honestly, about the only thing that I saw that I thought would be something you may want to see, now, not to say that I didn't like the other things I saw, I certainly did. They just didn't seem to fit the lifestyle that I have and that I use, uh, that I have out here in the woods. But what I did see that I was interested in were the sunglasses. So I thought, I know a little bit about sunglasses. I'll ask them to send a pair of the sunglasses and I'll review those. So I did. Now they had two distinct styles. One was a more fashion oriented style, something that you would wear around, I don't know, anywhere on the streets or driving or any other time. And the other pair were, or the other style were like these. And these are the sport oriented ones. I asked for the fashion ones, they were out of stock. So I said, okay, no problem. How about a pair of these sport polarized ones? And they agreed. Now, the only thing I'll say about that is I did ask if they send them in the gray lens with black nylon frames, and this is what I got. And I'm not sure if they misunderstood what I was looking for or if this is all they had available at the time. But uh, here's my only con really. I'm not a fan of white frames. Uh, they just make, make me stand out too much and that's not my style. I like to be a little bit more subtle. There's nothing wrong with them. And if you like the white frames, then by all means buy them. Um, I would have preferred to have the dark frames. All right, what I'll do is I'm gonna go over what they came with, what was sent along with these sunglasses. I'll go into their physical features and their performance specifications. And uh, then I'll give you my thoughts on using these things. So when the sunglasses arrived here's what I got obviously the pair of sunglasses with this neutral gray tint uh, polarized set of lenses and these are rated for 21 percent uh, visual light transmission so that's pretty good now my other sunglasses are a little darker they're a bronze color they're polarized they allow around about 17 or 18 percent light transmission so when I per first put these on I found that they were a little lighter than I was used to however the more I wore them the more I adjusted to them and I found I actually had more visual acuity with these than I did with my darker bronze colored lenses and uh, that's a good thing for what these are intended for so that's that's what came with it. Now they did come in this nylon microfiber stuff sack, which can also act as your cleaning cloth for the glasses as well as protection, and a hard shell case. So it's nice to get two. Now there was one more thing, I'll reach in inside. They sent another set of lenses, and these are clear lenses with 99% visual light transmission. So it's nice to have two pair of lenses, and I thought, how am I gonna say something about these? But I have, I actually thought of something very useful for this extra set of lenses. All right, so let's go on to the physical uh, features of these lenses. So to start with, as I mentioned, they have polarized lenses. Now, the company also has three other styles of sunglasses in this Hawk um, HD, polar, or HD lineup. The other ones are an enhanced uh, color definition and they use the bronze colored lenses and so a little bit darker but they're not polarized not, and I wanted the polarized. They also have one they call Revo which is mirrored on the outside so that rainbowed mirror look. If you don't think I want to be seen wearing white ones too much can you imagine white frames and mirrored lenses definitely not this boy style but uh, you know I don't mind if other people wear them it's just it's not my style I guess. 
And the last pair did interest me, but I chose not to get them, and that is photochromatic. And I did some uh, research into their photochromatic lenses, and they appear to be a very high quality, and they have a distinct usefulness in some situations. What I mean by photochromatic is when you get them, if it is dark outside, then the lenses will be very light and very transparent. But as the sun brightens up, they will darken to match the, uh, the sunny conditions. And the big thing about them, unlike previous older technologies, they're very fast, like one or two seconds, and you've got full change from light to dark. Uh, the benefit there, of course, is if you're coming in and out of buildings or if you're hiking and you're going in and out of enclosed areas like under the forest canopy where I'm at right now, out into an open area. If you're biking, and I'll talk more about that in a second, that's where they'll really shine because it's one thing to go from a bright area into a darkened area with your sunglasses on and then not be able to see the risks and hazards in front of you. So that's where those type of lenses uh, would be very valuable. The reason I did not try them out they're not polarized. Again, I'm, I'm big on polarized, and I'll explain why in a moment. And the only pair they had available came with a pink set of lenses and a white frame. So I, I said no to them as well. Okay, so that's the, the lenses. These are the polarized lenses. Why do I like polarized so much? For the uses I intend on using these glasses for, polarized lenses provide a real benefit. Uh, and I'll, I'll talk about the uses in a moment, but these will not only reduce glare, but they will allow you to have better definition in brighter sunshine. So that's really what it's all about is glare. And polarized lenses will uh, diffuse or filter out the glare or deflect the glare. Maybe that's the best way to say it. What else can I say about them? All right, they are 100% UV 400 protection. So that's, that's is what you get with all good quality sunglasses. They have what they call a memory frame. Now it's made of TR90 nylon. And the thing about TR90 nylon, all the better sunglass makers who produce ones with synthetic frames are using TR90 for a very simple reason. You can twist it all out of shape. You can squish them in your pocket. You could sit on them in your pocket and you're not gonna damage the frame. So I think that is a real plus for these things because if you've ever had an expensive pair of sunglasses in your back pocket, probably not a good idea to start with, and sat on them, you know the feeling of, oh no, what am I gonna do now kind of a thing. So yeah, the TR90 frames are very, very handy. And, and like I mentioned, these are what the better sunglass brand use as well. They have impact resistant lenses and it's the ANSI Z87.1 standard. So that's high, P, high speed impacts. Um, not bullets, no it's not bulletproof, don't get me wrong, but from rocks and sticks and twigs and bugs and I can mention why that in a minute. Um, yeah, so it's nice to know that these have an impact resistance. And the final thing is they're easy to change lenses and they are. And I've changed them back and forth uh, to the clear lenses and it only takes a moment to pop these out and put the other ones in. So they work really well. So why these? Why do I think these are of some benefit? It's certainly not a traditional style looking set of sunglasses at all. In fact, um, most people would consider this a little bit on the edge. So not something that they would wear and not something I would wear fashionably, but functionally they have a, some real benefits. So some of you may know, cause I've mentioned it a few times that um, I was a long distance runner for 40 years until my knee said, told me that, uh, that I was finished with that aspect of my life. And one of the things that I know in long distance running, especially if you're running along the edge of a highway, is you need good sunglasses because there is nothing like the glare to really drain you and give you a headache at the end of a long run. And what I've discovered is this style of sunglasses is ideally suited for that. Not only running, but biking, which is something else, which is actually the reason why I accepted these glasses because I expect I'm going to be doing more biking than I have in the past. And these will fit in perfectly. Um, how about, well, as they have water sports. So you could be canoe, kayak, stand up paddle board, fishing, and polarized lenses are great for fishing. And the last thing I expect I'll be using these for is, is snowshoeing. So I can see a wide range of uses for these, but you know, you're probably asking yourself, well, why not the other sunglasses that I already have? What does this offer that the other sunglasses don't? Well, there's a few things. Let me put them on. 
and I think it probably works best if I show them on my face. So number one, they have a lot of coverage. In fact, they come right out as far as my eyes can see around the sides and I cannot see the frame. So there's no, uh, nothing to distract me, nothing to block my vision. It's just all the, the, the lens itself. So that's number one. Number two, and you would not think of this as a plus, but there's a fair amount of clearance down here by my cheeks. Now, why is that important? Okay, first off, keep in mind that if these were going to be used for biking, you're going to be leaning forward on your bike and you're going to be looking up a little bit through the lenses uh, towards the top. And you won't be looking down through the bottom. So then this is great so that you see, still see, I still see no frame. The frames are high enough on my forehead that even with my head tilted way down, looking forward, I still have nothing to distract, nothing to block my vision along the way. So uh, yeah, those two aspects of the fit is are really helpful. The other thing that this provides all this clearance down here, as well as hopefully I can show this, the way these are cut out a little bit on both sides, uh, just uh, on either side of the bridge right there, allow for sufficient ventilation that you don't fog up. And that is a real issue, especially if you're on a bicycle or if you're running, especially if you have a hat on. I won't put the hat back on just yet. But if you have a hat on and there's no room for air to move up under the sunglasses, they will fog. And Believe it or not, this used to be a real issue for me when running in the winter time when the sun is really bright and there's a lot of ice and I was getting a lot of glare, that if I didn't have good, well-ventilated sunglasses, not only would they fog up, they would then turn to ice. So, you know, you want glasses that don't fog up. So, and they have an anti-fog, anti-scratch or scratch resistant. I mean, everything will scratch, of course, at some point, but a scratch re resistant lens as well. So I really like that they don't fog up. Now, the other thing is if you're running, if you're on a bicycle, if you're doing any real physical exertion, then you're gonna end up perspiring. And what I found with my fashion sunglasses, as much as I like them, is they tend to slide down my nose a little bit and I'm constantly pushing them up. These do not move. And that's aided by the fact that they have grippy rubber on each of the temple pieces as well as the bridge across the nose. So grippy enough that I've worn these out and I intentionally got sweaty. I got very active and uh, they would not fall off my face. You cannot shake them off. They do not move. Now, the thing is, a lot of the times, glasses, you can get them to stay on your face, but they're going to be pinching the side of your head. So at the end of the day, you have imprints above your ears and maybe on your nose. And uh, then it just leaves a mark and gets a little uncomfortable over time. These have not done that. They're springy enough, as you can see, that they will conform to the shape of my head. And as I've mentioned before, I have a larger than average head. And these are conforming to the side of my head, but after wearing them all day, I still do not find that they leave any marks on my temples or across the bridge of my nose. And they still stay in place because of those soft rubber grippy portions on either side. Okay, um, what else do I like about these? I think I have a few notes. Let's see if I've missed anything. So I haven't missed anything. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> one last thing I wanted to mention, I said about the clear frames. So here is an application and a reason for maybe purchasing these and having these all by themselves, although you don't have to have sunglasses to do this. But because the clear lenses are also impact resistant to that ANSI standard, then these are something that are worth having when you're moving around in the woods that to prevent getting a stick in your eye. And that's especially important if you're moving around at night and you can't see the sticks or all the brush and everything else. You can protect your eyes against sticks, rocks, whatever, if you have the clear lenses on. Also, if you're doing wood processing, another chopping wood and chips are flying everywhere, the clear lenses will give you all the protection you need and any other activity really where there is a risk, maybe sparks at a fire. Protect your eyes. They're vitally important. I think we all know that, and I don't have to preach to the choir about that, but how often do we actually not take steps to protect our eyes? So I'm not saying necessarily this pair of glasses, but a good pair of sunglasses that are impact resistant, and especially you can use safety lenses on a pair of work glasses for the same purpose for sure. 
But if you're in the market for a pair of sunglasses for all those active uh, types of sports that I mentioned, then this is something worth looking at. And just before I came out this morning, I went to their website again just to confirm, and these are still on sale for $50 US, down from $90 US. I can't guarantee that that sale will be on when you see this video, but uh, uh, yeah, right now they are on sale. I would say that they are worth the $90, even more so at $50, but they're definitely worth the money at $90. I can tell you, I have spent a lot more in the past on sunglasses of a name brand that were really no better than this. All the same features, all the same quality, yeah, everything else I can say about it. Now, the only thing I can't say is I have not had these long enough for a long-term review, but I have had enough sunglasses over the course of my running and biking. Oh, the other thing I didn't mention is I was a professional biker whatever that means, for a while. Uh, part of my patrol duties was as a bike uh, officer. So for four years during the summers, I was a bike patrol officer as well. So I have some bi experience biking as well. Those days, of course, are long gone. Still enjoy biking, wish I could run, but uh, yeah, I, so I have some experience in what good pair of sunglasses are, can do for you, both in terms of what you want to look for in a pair of sunglasses, as well as the benefits of having them. All right, I think I've said enough about these glasses. If you have any questions or comments, then please put them in the comments section below. I will be putting the information for where you can purchase these from Outdoor Masters in the video description and any other relevant information as well. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.